This video is going to be about Global Marker Mode. It's a really nice mode to use. It can speed things up a lot. This is one method of using it. Is if you have yourself a plate that your markers are fixed to that they're not going to move. You can go ahead and set that down. Then what you want to do is come here to Global Marker Tracking. I've already had one set, but if you have, if you don't have one set, it'll come in like this. Just click new. What you want to do is you're going to scan the markers that are on the plate. And you just need a once over. Once that's done, just click complete. Then from here, you can start your scan. It's going to say cloud scan. That's to scan the point cloud. Just adjust your item type, depending on what type of item it is. We'll just do black. Then you can do the cloud scan. And all you have to do is throw an item on your plate. And it already knows where the markers are. So you can just start scanning. And as you can see, you can move all around. It's not going to lose tracking because it knows where the markers are because you scan them ahead of time. This mode is normally used for large objects or if you're using the same base to scan multiple items. You can go ahead and stop that. If you want to do a new scan, make sure you go to tracking mode, then global marker tracking. Right here is the plate that you use. You can rename it if you want, just for your records. To do another scan, you want to click cloud scanning. It will use the highlighted file. Then you click cloud scanning. Right here, I'm simply going to scan my keyboard. It's a 60% size. Since it already has the markers, it goes by pretty fast and it also doesn't lose tracking. I just have to make sure to stay on the outer edge since there's no markers on the keyboard itself. This is all real time scanning speeds, which are pretty great on the mini Mac. The scanning of the keyboard finished. This is good enough for the example. I'll just go ahead and process it.
here's the final mesh model. Everything came out great. I didn't focus on getting a complete scan, but just this part here is excellent. You can also place the markers on something large, like a car, or right here I'm using an 18 gallon bin. Just make sure whatever you're placing the markers on, that it happens to be something solid. You will create a new scan like before. You need to make a new global map. Then simply scan the markers that are on the item. Make sure that you have enough markers on it and that you're at the correct angle to view the markers. Then once you finish creating your map, you can kind of get a rough idea of how the item is, the geometry for it. Then you can just go ahead and scan the point cloud. Remember, if the scanner is angled too sharply, it won't see the markers. And that sums up using global marker mode for the Metro X by Revel Point 